Today is the first anniversary of the king's passing. He died last year on October 13th. We'll be having a ceremony for him tonight. But in addition to the formalities, it's good to stop and think. He was a really good man in, who took advantage of his position not to for his own gain, but for the good of the country. It's very hard to find a ruler like that. And the principles of his actions are things that are worth emulating. In particular, there was one time when he, in addition to his own actions, he would actually take some of the Buddha's Dharma and teach it on special occasions. When they celebrated the 200th anniversary of the founding of Bangkok, he gave a talk that was centered around a set of teachings that the Buddha once gave, which are the duties of, of lay people, not, not, well, more the qualities that allow lay people to see their duties through. And so it's good to think about that. The first is truthfulness. Do you make up your mind to do something? You're truthful. You're dealing with other people. You're truthful in your dealings. You don't hide things. You're not devious. And then you're generous. You're not always taking for yourself, but you're thinking about the good of others and what you can do for them. And then two qualities that enable you to do both of those things. One is self-control. In other words, you keep your emotions under control. Don't let your greed, aversion, and illusion take over. You may not be able to uproot them yet, but at least you can keep them under control. And finally, endurance. We live in this world. There's a lot of physical pain. There are painful words from other people, people who betray you, people who look down on you, all kinds of things that happen in this world. And you have to be able to endure those things. As the Buddha said, try to depersonalize it. When someone says something unpleasant, just tell yourself an unpleasant sound is make contact at the ear and leave it at that. Don't let it come eating into your heart. Because after all, the sound does this thing of the sound, but it's what the mind does with the sound that actually makes us suffer. And then think about this as a way of human speech. It's human speech is kind and unkind. It can be true, it can be untrue, it can be well-meaning, uh, ill-meaning. Useful, useless. This is the normal way of human speech in the world. So when you're subjected to things that are untrue or useless, remind yourself this is the way human speech can be. You were the one who wanted to be born in the human world. This is what you have to meet up with. This way you can help your mind endure by not stabbing yourself inside with what's happening outside. Because it's not so much the things outside that make us suffer, it's what we do with them. We bring them in and then we stab ourselves with them. If we learn how not to do that, then we can endure things and then we can carry through with our duties as we should, seeing areas where we can be helpful to other people, maintaining our truthfulness, maintaining our self-control. This way, whatever duties come to us, we can carry them through. This way we benefit and the people around us benefit as well. So when you think of the king, it's good not to think just how much you miss the king or of all the good things the king did. You can think of also the ways that the king left some dharma behind, both in his actions and his words. They can be a good example for our own behavior. It's in that way that events like this, commemoration of the passing of other people, are, can really be useful. They give rise to heedfulness. In the Dharma textbooks, they say that ceremonies that have to do with death are inauspicious. Awamonkon, as they say in Thai. But that's a Brahmanical idea. If we take the opportunity to reflect on our own lives and how we should be heedful in our own behavior, then it becomes monkon, which, in other words, it's auspicious. Auspicious for us. We take something good away, aside from just the feeling of sadness. We take something good away to apply in our lives.